Hi, I'm Tony doing Google Coding, and today I'm going to show you the JavaScript debugging features included in KDE Web Browser Conqueror. First of all, you want to enable JavaScript debugging in Conqueror, and we'll need to go to the settings page and go to the JavaScript pane, Let's go to the JavaScript tab, and click Enable Debugger. So now, with JavaScript Debugger enabled, we're going to go to a page that has JavaScript to debug, and in true Blue Peter fashion, Here's one I made earlier. We'll want to bring up the JavaScript debugger window in Conqueror, and you can do that simply by going to View and selecting JavaScript debugger. The first thing you might want to do is view the source. From the loaded scripts on the tree view in the left, you can expand the items to find the section of the script you like to debug, like so. This brings up the source code in the right text area. If we click at Break at Next, and then run a function, such as throw an error, you can see that the debugger will instantly stop execution at the next line to be run. If we click continue and get out of that, we can set a breakpoint at some... well, what the hell... If we click continue, we can then do something else, such as set a breakpoint at one of the lines in the file, and then refresh the page. As you can see, execution has now stopped at the place you've set the breakpoint, which is var my variable, here it is. If you take a look at the local variables pane, you can see all the variables currently in the local scope. If we set a breakpoint right below that and click continue, we can now see that the variable my variable has now had its value changed to here it is. Suppose now you want to change the variable of my variable to something else. We can simply just use the console and by using a basic JavaScript assignment, we can change it to something else. Now click continue, and bam, there we have it. The variable has now been changed to something else, and the inner HTML value of the div named test is now something else. If we just unset these breakpoints here... Now suppose you have an error in the page you want to debug it. No problem. First of all, you want to turn on report errors in Conqueror settings, which is in Java and JavaScript, JavaScript, and report errors, and click OK. If we were to call a function that throws an error such as recurse infinitely, we'll get a JavaScript error dialog coming up in Conqueror like this, and we can click debug to find the source of the error. If you look at the call stack here, you can see all the calls that were being made to recurse that exe eventually exceed the call stack. Of course, fixing this is an exercise left to the viewer, and I'm not going to be telling you how to do it here. If you just can click continue to reset the state of the debugger, now I'd like to tell you about the standard stepping functionality available at your disposal. Step over, step into, and step out. Let's hit a breakpoint here in the function step demo. If we run this function, you'll see that execution has now stopped at the line we set this breakpoint on. We have the features step over, step into, and step out. You can skip looking into this function by clicking step over, or you can step into this function and look at how it's running by clicking step into. Once you've stepped into the function, you can continue stepping into the function by hitting step into, or supposing you don't want to step anymore, hit step out and let the function take its course. Well, that concludes my brief tutorial on using the Conqueror JavaScript debugger. Thanks for watching.